Hello my friends, I'd like to introduce to you our newest die sets and I'm very excited about these because they both coordinate together which is kind of fun. Um, let's see, let's do this one first and it's not going to make much sense but um, what it does is it coordinates with our bunny for Easter stamp set. So that's the stamp set and this is the die set. Now it's two dies and so here's the big bunny to cut out and then your I also have a little bunny and so since you don't have that stamp of the little bunny we've included the little bunny right here and look how cute he is. He's an exact replica of the large bunny that's in the stamp set bunny for Easter but he's in a small version which is kind of really really cute so we've added him as well and so here's the big one and I have a sample to share with you that Jeannie made, but that's for that set. Then we have this, whoa, look at this, this is funny. It is a whole bunch of everything, which is really funny. It contains one large egg to go with our egg set, eggs to hunt set. It also has three littler size eggs, and that coordinates with our, uh, <laughs> Eggs for Easter stamp set. I uh, know. Oh gosh, I can't remember. We have it right here. <laughs> it has a cute little chicken. I can't remember the name. And it also has lots of jelly beans in two different sizes that also coordinates with this stamp set. So it has lots of fun with it. And this one has lots and lots of pieces. But when you're cutting out those jelly beans, you want to be able to run a whole bunch through at the same time. So that's why we included so many little jelly beans. So I'm going to share with you some of these because you know me, I love to stamp and die cut. It's literally my favorite things in the world to do. And I'm going to grab one of my stamps here. So let's cut out an egg and let's do ooh, purple. So this is grape and I'm just using my ink pads here. Stamp that up and let's do uh, some jelly beans because you can never have too many jelly beans in life. Am I right? So I'm going to just add some jelly beans. So let's do a purple jelly bean. And the fun thing is, is I'm going to have so many dyes that I'm going to be able to use these and cut them all out at the same time. So let's do that and then let's get, let's clean that one off. Because whenever you do a project, you're gonna need lots of jelly beans, am I right? Okay, now these would also be really cute in our jar stamp set and matching die. So that's probably enough. I kind of made a lot of space around them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring over my die cut machine. Now these dies are made for us by Sizzix exclusively for us and they do work in all of the major machines, especially the Big Shot, the Big Kick, and the Vagabond, some of my favorites. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my um, paper here and I'm gonna get out all my little dies and I keep them in the bag because, ooh, there's a lot. Or um, what you can do is keep them in the Sizzix envelopes and I use those a lot too. I just, this is a brand new set. I haven't put it in the envelopes yet. So I'm gonna get out some of my jelly beans. So I need two little and two big for this project. And I also need one of the small eggs. So what I'm gonna do, now the nice thing about these dies, if you're not aware of these yet, is the cutting edge is on the very inside of the die. So when I turn that over, I know exactly where I'm cutting. So I'm gonna line that up on top of my egg, and I'm going to use a handy dandy post-it note, because that's my favorite tip, to straddle that die. Now, when I move this paper, that die is not gonna move. It is stuck there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear this in half, and then tear it again because I just need little pieces for these. And I am literally going to die cut these cute little jelly beans. Now most people would say, oh my goodness, I would never cut those out by hand. So now we have little dies to do all the work for us because I'm sorry, but I would never cut these out by hand either. That is crazy. So I'm just going to lay those on top and let's get some other dies on there. So I'm going to do this again. And it does take a second, but I assure you the final product is so worth it. And when you make a card with all these cute little jelly beans and all these eggs on it, people are gonna just be wowed. And they're gonna say, did you cut those out? And you can say, yes, you cut them out. Now you don't have to mention that you didn't hand cut them out. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay my second cutting pad on top. I'm gonna run it through the machine. See how easy that was? Okay, so let's look at some magic here. I'm gonna move this back over here so you can see it. So I'm gonna peel this off. I'm gonna reuse my post-it notes, so I'm gonna lay it right there. Pop that out, perfectly cut out egg. 
Isn't that fun? And now, oh, let's get all our little jelly beans. The only bad thing about these jelly beans is you can't eat them. So there's a little one right there. And let's pop them all out. So that's why you can see why we included a lot of the little jelly bean dyes because you wouldn't have to run this through, woo, 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 you know, 15 times just to get 15 jelly beans. Now you can run it out just a couple times and get all those jelly beans. So there's some more jelly beans. Look at that, isn't that fun? Let's grab all of them. So make sure you check out our website for even more examples and ideas using these dyes and have lots of fun. Thanks so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.